Here's another usage for uh, W3M, the web browser. Um, so normally when you type in man ffmpeg or something like that, right? And at the bottom you have, um, it says like C also, and you have, you know, different reference that they're trying to get you to read or whatever. Well, you can't really follow it in here. You would have to exit it out and then type in man ff play or whatever it is. Uh, but if you're using W3M man, which is part of the W3M package that they have, and you type in like uh, the man page you're looking for, like ffmpeg, right? And if we go to the bottom again, now right here it has links for it, so you can actually follow the links. So let's say for example, we follow ff play here, and it opens that man page instead of me like exiting the program, uh, it just takes me to the next one, and so on and so forth. If you find other links that you want to look at, right, it takes me to that man page. Now, since this is a uh, web browser by design, you can actually use um, uh, it on links too. So w3m man. Let's say for example, we look at the ls command, and in here they should have some links here, right? And if we want to, what is that? Go to uh, the page or whatever. You hit enter. And it opens the page. Well, this one has nothing in there, so let's go back here. Let's go to the next one. There you go, like this one takes me to the page and all that. So you can do something like that, and much more convenient than open up a uh, web browser to follow the links. Anyways, that's the program. The one thing is, I'm not sure how you can manipulate the colors yet. I mean, I know it has colors because you can see the links is uh, in blue and the text is in white, but. Uh, I'll try to figure that out and I'll make another video or something like that. But if you want to read man pages with links, uh, you can follow instead of like quitting the program every time. Then uh, you can use uh, W3M man. That'll be it for this one.